If they ain't got it, I'ma mask up and take it. 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 What is going on ladies and gentlemen, AJ Good here at the House of Masks, and in today's video we are doing another Slipknot mask unboxing. But before we get into that, I wanted to let you guys know that I did read some comments about like an echo in the room, so I've done my best to fix that. The uh, room that I'm currently shooting in is now like the new mask collection room, and it is a lot bigger and a lot emptier than the other room that I was in, so I have hung some stuff on the walls, some blankets and comforters and stuff to try to dampen the echo. So let me know in the comments below if that worked, if you guys have noticed a difference. Personally, Personally, when I'm editing on my computer, whether it be through the actual speakers or just through my headphones, I don't see a problem, and then I watch on my phone, and I don't see a problem there either, so I'm not really sure if that was the actual problem or maybe if it was just certain people's headphones and stuff reacting to the way that I shoot the videos, but regardless, I have uh, tried to do some stuff to eliminate the problem. So, let me know in the comments, did it work, have you noticed a difference, and let's get on with the unboxing. I feel like it's been a hot second since we've done an actual Slipknot mask unboxing, but I saw this on a secondhand auction site. It's not eBay, but it was just this really weird auction site, and I ended up signing up because I thought that it was a good deal, and I really doubted that anyone else was going to get on there and see this, so I ended up winning it for a pretty solid price, and I uh, actually already have one of these, but I needed the piece that was on this to complete another mask of mine, and I'll explain to you guys here in a second what I'm talking about. But this one's in super, super nice condition, so I think I may end up keeping this one and uh, giving this other one to my friend. I just got to look at him first, but I did say that I just wanted the piece off of this and that he could have the mask when I was done with it, but if it's in super nice condition, I may end up keeping it and giving him my other copy. But we'll see. Fucking packing peanuts. I love packing peanuts. Alright, so let's go ahead and try to get this fucking thing open. They were very serious about packing this thing. It's got a weird smell to it. That's what she said. Very strange. Alright, so clearly in here we have a gas mask. Do my best to get it out here safely. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Anyways, what we have here is what I believe to be the Sid Wilson bathtub mask from the Spit It Out music video. <laughs> Definitely one of my favorite Sid Wilson masks of all time just because of the context that it was used and for the simple fact that that is the only time that we have seen that mask used by Sid. There is a backstage photo or like in his studio or maybe even the Knotfest Museum where this mask is laying with a few of his other masks but that is it. Like we saw it there and we saw it in the actual Spit It Out music video and only for one quick scene he was wearing other gas masks for the rest of that video. So definitely a cool one and um, Slipknot collectors and gas mask collectors and pretty much anyone that fucks with this stuff will argue all day long about what mask that actually is. So as far as I'm concerned, it's unidentified. But this one's pretty fucking close and if this isn't it, I would be really surprised. Now as I mentioned, I bought this because I needed a piece off of it to complete another gas mask in my collection and that gas mask is going to be the PDFD that was was also used and spit it out and as you can see here there's this little piece that would have had a flapper valve in it at one point it probably rotted off of here because those things went away pretty quickly and uh, Sid actually attached this to his PDFD right above the nose that is another reason that I believe that this is the mask because these pieces were only on certain masks and this is one of the only ones that looks like this that has this piece and if you ask me I think when Sid was fucking with his PDF he probably took this piece off of this exact mask that he used in the bathtub scene and applied it to the uh, PDFD. So that's a long weird story, but that is what we have here and I'm stoked to have it. This one is in super, super nice condition. I would have to look at my other one because it's been a while since I saw it to compare, but uh, I'm gonna be giving one of these to my buddy Trent. I'll just have to look them over and see which one I wanna keep and which one I wanna give to him. But regardless, I will be taking this piece off and applying it to my PDFD to have the completed PDFD mask conversion. But yeah, I'm going to go over this. Um, certain things were different, like in the actual Spit It Out music video. The eye lenses were really weird. A lot of people think they were wrapped with duct tape. Clearly, he didn't have lenses in, so I would have to unscrew these and take a look to see what needs done. But uh, yeah, just a fun little unboxing. It's always cool to see one of these, and uh, gas mask collectors fucking hate when Slipknot collectors get a hold of gas masks because we ruin history or whatever. If I take the lenses off of this thing, it's for one reason and one reason only, and that is Slipknot, so I don't personally think it's ruined. I think that it's made better. But it is what it is. That's probably an argument that'll never, ever go away. So yeah, I am uh, going to throw this guy on ahead and give you guys some nice close-up shots of it. <clears throat> I don't know what is up with my voice today <coughs> blah, blah, blah. and that will just about do it for this video so i hope that you guys enjoyed it and until next time we will see you guys later